Hey guys, TechGuy276. Um, I'm actually in my room and you won't hear any background noise from the cars unless my dad come upstairs, unless my mum come upstairs or anything like that. Um, CES is happening now, like CES 2013, the Consumer Electronics Show. And um, Ubuntu, I've got, uh, Ubuntu I've got a little stand uh, in CES. And they're all they're showing off the features of what what this Ubuntu OS and could it, could it be like a uh, like the fourth OS that could bridge the gap between uh, well could it be the fourth OS like between iOS Android uh, Windows 8 uh, they're the three main ones but I'm like I'm missing out the ones like WebOS and Sibian and Java and um, like all all of the like the lesser known operating systems there's even Firefox OS. Um, but that's not really that's not really took off yet. Um, it's 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 um, it's quite good actually. I created a, a podcast the other day, but it um, um, I had to restore my phone and I had to well it, it had to delete all the uh, files like the easy v- video recorder and all the internal files. Um, right on on lock screen. Um, it's it's basically like there's no soft keys there's no like swipe up there's no like you don't have to press the screen to uh, access it's 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 not like a lock screen per se but it's it's um it's 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 like um everything's built around edges with ubuntu like you swipe from the left uh, to the right and you you can have access to all your apps like uh, facebook it's not got native apps yet it's not got um t- uh, uh, apps like a marketplace uh, I mean a Play Store. Um, so they're just using web apps like Twitter web app and uh, Facebook web app and all of the different web apps that you can have. So it's like a universal experience because let, let's let's be honest, most of the websites out there now are actually using web apps. Um, sometimes I've gone on to yeah, sometimes I've gone on to use that web app and it gives me a recommendation to use that app. So I've downloaded the app. Um, you swipe from the left and everything's there like uh, uh, phone messages, uh, Facebook, Twitter, calculator notes, memos, all of that stuff. Um, but there's a home, there's a home application as well. But that's that's like your mini launcher that you use. Um, you you press the home button and then it brings up all these like uh, your recent contacts, the recent people that you phoned, the last music track you've played. Um, uh, all the uh, like a little gallery of pictures. Then you can swipe across, and there's your videos that you can play or or, or play or or buy from the Play Store. Um, you can you can buy videos. Uh, then you've got the music section, which has all your music just there in like a one convenient uh, graphical user interface way, and it's it's actually quite good. Um, it's it's. It's built around the edges, so you, just, you swipe from the left to get all your apps. And there's this cool thing, which uh, but I don't, I don't know if it'll take off because Ubuntu might paint it because, well, they, they might be knobheads like Apple and paint and everything. Uh, if you swipe down, if you swipe down from the uh, from the set from the settings bar, just like you do in Android to get the notification tray, um, if you s- if you stop like five pixel like if you if you stop like uh, just like millimeters just after the notification tray uh if you swipe left or right you can get different settings like brightness sound um messages battery power off uh you can get like different power off settings like restart uh power off um uh hot reboot soft reboot all all of them different things and then there's a screenshot thing um, and there's this cool thing where you can actually reply to messages just by going to the messages section in the notification tray and then swiping down and then it brings up your recent um, well your recent uh, threads from the conversations that you've had with people and you can click like uh, text back or call back and I like that feature because because it doesn't take the focus away from the app, it's just got like a separate notification that you can just go into, reply, come back out. Ob- obviously, there's actual message app, messages app, so if you want to compose messages to people that you've not had a recently had a conversation with, um, but you can do that already in the not- uh, the uh, notification tray as well, so it doesn't take focus off uh, the app. 
there's also multi multitasking gestures, but uh, I, I'm not I'm not sure if I like this because it's well multitasking gestures you see on the iPad you like you sw you swipe four fingers to the right and you go to the a the application to the right or you swipe four fingers to the left and you go to the application on the left well all you need is one finger on Ubuntu and that's straight from the left that's from the right like the right edge of the screen to the left of edge of the screen like just swipe across um, and that'll take like most people well what what he said on there um, most people just use like three or four applications at a time like Facebook, Twitter, uh, messages, phone, uh, camera, uh, all that, like uh, music as well like I know that's five um, but instead of like going back out and then going back into the application you can just swipe and it'll go back to that app <coughs> and um, on your home launcher you'll have you'll have your recent applications you'll have um, all the applications that you've installed, uh, downloaded, uh, all the like you'll have uh, different sections for stock installed, all of them stuff which um, which Android have already done. <coughs> um, uh, I, f I think that's it. Um, the, there was he was he was talking about like disappearing titles like. Is that really needed? Because that's been in that's been in iPhones all the that's been in iPhones that's been in Android phones. Like you you're scrolling down your page and he was like you know when you scroll down on a on a website on like an Android well re recently uh, it the address bar disappears to give you more space so you can like view your content and he was boasting about that in an app like in a, in a social networking app like a, a centralized social networking app where uh, it'd be all your pictures, then it'd be events, and then it'd be like you ca it'd be like your calendar mixed with your social life, mixed with your everything. Um, I think that's basically everything. There's no soft keys or anything. Uh, but yeah, it, it, I I hope it does well, but I don't I don't think it will because there's just too many OSs in the market today. Um, like like I say, Firefox came out with their OS like three or four months ago and it didn't make a change in the market at all um, but I it's 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 a start of what what features could be included into Android or iOS um, right thanks for listening guys and um, this has been my Ubuntu OS talk and uh, thanks for listening so uh, see you next podcast